she actually reached out when she found out that he was coming on. So their camp reached out to me. So I said, great, I would love to talk to her. Mm. But she had an opportunity to come here when she was in Texas. And I, I literally gave them an open invitation. I said, anytime. I go, I'll do it at 9 in the morning. I'll do it at 10 p.m. I'll do it at midnight. She's up. She wants to, you know, drink a Red Bull party on but it was very difficult to tie it down and a lot of they wanted to travel and see the, the thing is like you can't if, if i go somewhere then there's going to be other people in the room that's a distraction mm. people mm -hmm. in the room like my whole goal with her and with him is just talk just sit, have a conversation like a human being you, you find out things about people you get a sense of them at least a real sense that was it i don't give a f what we talk about i really don't mm. i just i just want to talk to you who the f are you? This is honestly a terrible decision if you ask me because Trump's interview was so big and reached so many people and was a huge win, whether you want to admit it or not. So for her to not go on is just weird. I know people think it'll hurt her because they think she'll embarrass herself. And to be honest, yeah, that's the most likely outcome. But this is like Tom Brady just saying, no, nah, I don't want to go to the Super Bowl, dude. I think I'll pass. It would be one thing if she was blowing Trump out in the polls, but she's actually down right now. There's still time for her to change her mind though. I, I hope she does. I think if she wants to win, she has to do it. Like, how, how do you not do that if you're playing to win? Am I wrong? Do, they, do you think they think that you're on his side and they're more wary of you? I don't know. I mean, there's, uh, just because of my appearance, there's always been this assumption that I'm some right wing MAGA guy. I'm a politically homeless person, mm. for sure. You know, I always considered myself a, a left-wing person. I never thought I would ever vote right-wing. Ah, gotcha! Did Joe just admit he's voting for Trump? He might have just let it slip right there. Ain't it funny how things work? They got mad at Joe for having a different opinion on things in 2020, started calling him right-wing and attacking him, and, and then drove him right into Trump's giant McDonald's-smelling wide-open arms, man. Congratulations. What a strategy. Bravo. This happens all the time, by the way. You really should be nice to those who you disagree with if you actually want to win them over to your side. Just a little advice for you brainiacs out there. The moment you stopped, you you started questioning or pushing back, it was the moment you just found yourself exiled from the group. And it, it just seemed that what I fell in love with at one point in my life no longer existed. Yeah, because it's bullshit. And I think we should even stop calling it the left and the mm. right because it's just tribes. Mm. Mm -hmm. It really that and that that is the real problem. When when you have people that are supposedly progressive and liberal, and they're opposed to the idea that free speech is an absolute right as an American citizen. I would love Kamala Harris to come on this podcast. That's the podcast I want to see the most in I this election. Too, but I just I feel like very strongly that if it's going to be done, it has to be done like a regular podcast because that's the only way it works sure, the only yeah. way it works is just sit down and talk with somebody you can't go to some ballroom and some hotel where they control everything and they have cameras ready and they want to edit stuff out it's like that's just too weird it's not the same thing everyone has to be able to talk and we have to figure out who's right and you might be wrong you might be wrong and you might be clinging mm -hmm. to this idea that you're right and you're going to do the whole thing a terrible disservice come on come on man Joe will make sure you get your favorite wine. You can you can sit down, have a nice drink, have some buttered chicken or whatever dish you like, and just let Joe charm you. Just go to him. He has what you need, baby. Just go. Do it. She's got to be aware of how many people are hating on her. She has to be aware of how many people don't think she deserves a spot. She just got in. You're running to be the leader of the most powerful country in the world. Right. You've got to be able to f talk, man. <laughs> If we don't even say this because it's so f***ing obvious, but, but you've got to be able to communicate. And by having no primary and having her just go right through and then keeping RFK Jr. away from Biden even before that, like, this does not give a lot of people faith that you are following the ideals that this country was founded on. You're going to be sitting across from Xi Jinping yeah. and Vladimir Putin. Right. If you can't f talk. Right. How's that going to go? It's always fascinating to watch someone like way out of their league yeah. and they get exposed. But that same person could be doing a softball interview and they look like a wizard. Yeah. They look like a genius because they already have their predetermined answers to questions that have already been presented to them. So they prepare. And that's essentially what you've been getting a lot with Kamala Harris. You've been getting a lot of this prepared stuff mm. you know well i was born in a middle class family and mm. then she has this thing that she's gonna say and kamala harris was saying defund the police totally defunding the police are you out of your mind do you you don't know jack about police work 
wow, after going off like that, I really doubt Kamala is going to come on the show now. I wonder how long before they start pulling up old dirt on Joe. And you just know the you-know-what word edit starts getting pushed around again and getting shared by all these lefties. I have a feeling if they don't do a pod together, this could get ugly. And we could start seeing both sides attacking each other. As of recording this, I haven't heard anything from Kamala yet, but I bet that changes soon. I think there's a chance if she actually removes that bullshit, political, cringe acting facade that her and Hillary Clinton and all these weird politician types always have on, and just relaxes with Rogan and we get to see her real self in there, it could be a huge win for her. Well, at least we got the J.D. Vance interview to look forward to. We actually recorded an episode of Joe Rogan this morning, so we... Oh, <laughs> hi, Tulsi. <laughs> uh, how you doing? How long was it, J.D.? Oh, it was long, all right. It was real long. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, where were we? How long were you in Rogan? Al almost studio? four hours. Almost four hours. So, I've... I've officially done more interview time than Kamala Harris has the entire campaign, just today, so... I'd love for you to have Trump and Harris in here. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. Well, that's what I said to him. I said, uh, what really should be the two of you sit down and have a conversation for as long as it takes. Right. Mm. Just no, no moderator, no one there. No, no, not even a moderator. Not no, you. I don't think. I don't think I need to be in the way. <laughs> it would be hilarious. That would just be a bloodbath. <laughs> <would be> <laughs> <hard. laughs> how long would it take? Like, what are you? Okay, how are you going to fix the economy? How are you going to fix the economy? Like, I want to do this. That was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> no time limit. No time no, limit. Like the UFC back in the day. Yeah. Right? Now imagine if you got both of them on. Oh, if he got at least Kamala on, I could make a fire parody with the two episodes, like mashing them together. But that'll never happen. It would be too amazing if Kamala and Joe were on the same Rogan episode. Like the world couldn't handle it, dude. People would die. Imagine the views though in an episode like that. Wow, that would be like biggest episode ever. Anyway, the media spin on this is that Joe is actually the one turning Kamala down by refusing to go for her interview and follow her rules. She has to do it the way Trump did. So just more cope. Keep coping. Keep seething. Again, still time to change her mind and my god, I hope she does. And apparently she's got an open invitation, so come on Kamala. Do you want to win or what? Let's do this. Thanks for watching everybody. I'd like to thank the sponsors of this video, my members. Shout out to my members, the greatest people in the world, the people who join and support this channel. If you want to become a member, just click the join button. It's right next to the subscribe button. I don't know if it's still messed up on mobile or whatever, but it's there. If you're not seeing it on mobile, check it out on your PC. Try a different browser. But your support goes a long way, so become a member. And you can get a lot of content that's uh, behind uh, closed doors because YouTube didn't like it. Or maybe I didn't like it. And you can see some of my cringy, crappy content. That'll be fun.